Alright, hey guys. I've had a couple people ask about making a video about scraping an otter. So I got one here. I'll show you how to scrape it. They're not too hard. So what I, I usually start on the back here, up by the head. And on these, most of the time I use the sharp side of my knife. I kind of just start up here between the ears, just like you would a coon. Get it started. Not pushing real hard, just kind of light pressure. Some of them have more fat on them up than others. Kind of depends on their membrane. On males, it's more like a coon where you have to slice it. On some females like this one, I might be able to just scrape it, push it off with the more duller side. down about 10 inches there. I just work my way around in a circle. Come back up here to the side of the face. Sharp side. Cut off that. Get that thin layer of muscle started. Should be able to push it off. A little more work this way by pushing it off. But if you're just doing it for the first time, I do it this way with the more the duller side. Just because you're less likely to put a hole in it. Roll it around here. Get up under the chin and the neck here. Get it started. Get the rest of this on the other side. Pull them back around on the belly. Go to the dull side. comes off fairly easy, you just gotta go over it a couple times. Since they're a long animal, long body, I just keep going around in a circle. Just makes it a little easier. Instead of going all the way down on one part and 
keep pulling it up and you gotta slide it back down. So you just keep sliding it up until you're finished. It just makes it easier. I'm pushing, putting pretty good pressure on this. Just get it up around. back side of the, the leg. Sometimes you can just take a, a knife. Sometimes on the legs it's a little tougher to get off. So you can just kind of cut it off. There with the knife. Get down in between the legs here. on the edge of the fur here where the front leg is. Once you put it on a board, on a stretcher, you just take a knife and just go around it and cut it off. It's the easiest way to do instead of trying to do it with your fleshing knife. You just go down. Once you get past the legs, comes off. Fairly clean. So I'm only working a couple inches now. Five inches. And I'll just keep turning it. A little bit green on the belly. It was pretty warm out the day I caught this one. in January. But it'll still dry fine. Might be a little darker color there. Fur still good. good pressure up here on the point of your beam so it doesn't slip. push it off it'll make it a little bit easier. Just cut that in half. Keep 
rolling around, you can actually just cut all that off. Just adds weight to it. So we get back where the back legs were. Got the belly good, belly good. So we go to the tail. Okay, so now on the tail, it's a little bit different. Try and zoom in a little bit. So on the tail, you're going to have to use a sharp side. We just start it up, just little short cuts, slicing motion, so I'll go a little bit instead of keep going down, I'll raise it up so it doesn't dig down into it. So then you just go take a little bit off, get that little piece off there. But in the middle here, it's fairly easy. On each side, right down the middle, is fairly thin. Not much fatty stuff there. But on each side, it's about a quarter of an inch of fat. It goes down pretty deep. So you just want to take a little bit at a time. And it'll roll off to the side. You can see there it rolls off. Just got to do the same back and forth. So it'll open it up for you. Then you can get the middle. Not a whole lot of pressure with the knife. Doesn't have to be super sharp. Then it'll get to the edge. Sometimes you just have to take a knife and cut it off when it gets to the edge. Instead of using the big knife, just use a little knife to cut it. You just take go little by little. You can kind of see right here how that kind of thin round piece come out there. So that's how what it is. So you just go a little To get it to cut, you have to push down depending on your knife. On this one, this is just the cheapest knife you can get. Started out with this one, but it still works for me. But I made the sharp side on this. Just for the angle of this, you have to go in more than a uh, degree, higher degree, and then, or lower degree to cut it and then as soon as it starts cutting then you have to start going uh, more level so we'll just keep going down just 
keep going down here. Gotta take your time down here. Once you get it most of the way cut, you can kind of just push down on it, scrape it off. Try the dull side. Sometimes on a smaller one with when they get smaller tails. It's a little harder. It's not as wide. We'll just cut the chunks off of that. Kind of got to work it down. Make sure you get all the fat out of the each side. Just go down by pushing it like this with the sharp side. And you'll get it clean just like that. That's what you want. So you just got to take your time on the tail. That's the hardest part. So, we'll get it finished up, and I'll show you how to put them on a stretcher.